And we are back. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Hello. Kevin. Hello. And uh, who's here? Today we have uh Ragni joining us. Hi. Hi, Ragni. Hello. Now, um. Ah. <laughs> Ragni, we've bought a bouquet of flowers for you to welcome you to the <laughs> to the video. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember that thing when I played the game. Uh, we are playing this on for one very specific reason, which will become apparent soon. So where are we going today? Uh, well, we're gonna hold a dial up to a uh, clock. Uh huh. Sounds good. Clocks. I'm a fan. And we'll just see where that takes us. Are we going back to the future? <laughs> um. In a manner of speaking, I suppose. Hmm. Well, obviously, Righty, you've played through uh, all of the DLC, and um, yeah. I know you're quite excited for the boss of this next area. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To be fair, I played through this entire DLC apparently 25 levels below <laughs> the recommended level. Oh no! Oh dear. So I had a bit of trouble. I can imagine. And I just don't like grinding, so I just didn't want to do mm -hmm. that. I think you broke the clock. <laughs> yeah, this seems yeah, needless. Fine. Needless? <laughs> the <laughs> clock, yes. So, uh... No needles to tell time. Whoa. We're in the time dimension. Yeah, that's, um... That's Yarnum down there. Oh, rad! Hey. What? I did not understand. that. This is where you fight, uh, Shadow Kevin. <laughs> and also, in the distance, you'll see those masks I pointed to when we were in the Nightmare Front uh, here. yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Dup, for looking at the anti-sky. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the sky reflected in it. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, no, I know it's not the most popular opinion, but this is probably my favorite area in the DLC. I mean, visually, it's just really interesting. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Mercy. For the poor was a child. Bless you. Oh, please. A curse here, a curse there, a curse for he and she. Why care? A bottomless curse, a bottomless sea, source of all greatness, all things that be. Listen, That's not a human face. Painful chance. Weep with them as one in trance. And weep with us. Oh, weep with us. Poor fellow doesn't seem to be doing too good. Nah. Well, yeah, we got a new spell. Uh, this is actually the reason we wore the broccoli head. Skull from her luck. The violated fishing village. Oh, so we're going full Innsmouth, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're in Innsmouth right now. Oh, yeah. that's rad. I know what this Now's is. a good time to bring out my Cthulhu knowledge again. Yes, finally. <laughs> we're back. I don't know anything about that. Well, Innsmouth, uh, A Shadow Over Innsmouth is a short story by Lovecraft. It's one of his more famous works, I think. Yeah, uh, it's where the Deep Ones came from. It is, in fact, where the Deep Ones came from. Uh, it's a story about a guy who's just traveling around, like, Maine, Massachusetts. Uh, really wants to get home, so he takes a late-night bus, ends up in the fishing village. A small podunk town out on the coast. Although, uh, um, there is a bit of a difference between this fishing hamlet and Innsmouth. I can imagine. Mostly because this one seems to be flooded and, uh... It seems a lot like, um, the 
area of Dark Souls 2 where there's pirates. It's like a lot of oh, yeah. the same kind of aesthetic of just kind of piled on top of itself. Fishing paraphernalia. <laughs> Wretched birth, and plunge each child into a lifetime of misery. Oh no. But um, yeah, basically what my understanding of this whole area and kind of what the whole set of the DLC is, is it tells the story of what Bergenworth kind of did behind the scenes. Uh, basically what they did is they came to this village, basically kind of decimated it, and in return, the uh, villagers let a, uh, put a curse on Bergenworth and all their children, which causes the beast blood to happen, and the scourge. Oh. Did you notice that what he was saying was the same thing uh, Maria was saying? If, like when you enter the DLC for the first time? Yup. Oh boy, what is that? Is that a murloc? It is a <laughs> fishman! <laughs> it's Murloc village. Oh no, wait, oh wait, that's great! I love murlocs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, he just- they just made that exact sound. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> well... Okay, you got the tide hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch out for the, uh, the I, shaman. I don't know enough about Hearthstone. <laughs> or WoW. This is... Or WoW. This is I more know, of a WoW thing. I know anything about WoW because of Hearthstone, so... That's fine. No one knows about WoW lore. Like, the only thing they know about is Hearthstone. So let me change subject back to Cthulhu. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing that everyone knows uh, about. Right, so uh, that's the story of this man who goes to, to Innsmouth. Um, he, he starts, you know, exploring around, because what else are you going to do while you're waiting for the next bus? Uh... Soon start finding the locals there are very... Weird, pale skin, uh, clammy, strange growths on their necks. I don't think they shot skulls. Um, <laughs> well, did they look like fish? Yes. Oh. Uh, a little bit like fish is the thing. Like, they're. they're skin was getting that palish green. This would be the Murloc Sorcerer, but the... Yeah, there's the, sh there's the shaman that reses. The, the shaman, elements. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what... It's called something Show. else. It's like, there's a word for the spellcaster, but I don't remember what it is. There's one more thing to this area. Hey, oh! Buddy. Oh, that's... Oh, that's chaos from Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> He's that's so what happy. that is. That's like that's like the the like third or fourth one or something. But his mouth's all open like, hey, so, hey guys. Um, yeah, these <laughs> shark enemies are probably the hardest to deal with normal enemies in the DLC, oh. if not the main. Oh game. no! Nom, nom. So uh, this is got great. Chunked. Kevin this got is... munched. I love this. Oh, but Kevin's okay. He survived. <laughs> Yeah, I no. never got that luxury at level 75. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me a lot of the trolls from uh, Dark Souls 2, who had that same exact move. That cave troll aesthetic. Yeah. So we have the fishmen and the sharkmen. Yeah, giant sharks. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yep. So yep. Cthulhu! So Cthulhu. <laughs> Walking through the streets, looking out for sharks. Yeah, is that a witch? Buddy, hey. Oh, you got juked! <laughs> juked by a murloc. You better not die to any murlocs. Those are like yeah, the that'd easiest be enemies. Embarrassing. Unless there's 50 of them. Well. That's 50 murlocs, shame on you. <laughs> one murloc. <laughs> shame on Kevin. That, that one was pretty fast. It was a. I knew he would come out of there! Ah, oh, there he is. Hanging out under there. 
I just thought there was something else over this area. That's why I spent so much time over here. Also, did just look at that guy. Are those, like, pots of glowing something? Are those explosive? Well, you'll find out in a bit. So, yes. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, man, if only you had asked that question, like, three seconds later. Ah, uh, my timing's off. <laughs> and you even died. Oh, no. Got <laughs> ate by a shark. The, the wheel is not going in, though. Mm. I just wanted to show off making chump again because I thought it was funny. It is, oh yeah, you really good. you wanted to show off. This was intentional. <laughs> yeah. You're well. That's that's just because uh, our friend Co Buddy is a good chum. Well, no, I wanted to oh show my God. off. Oh god! Also, yeah, that's a hell of a tracking overhead. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there's a reason why. Um. Oh. Snack time! Oh, just oh tastes so good. There's a reason why these guys are the hardest enemies to deal with, in my opinion. I mean, he seems kind of low on health. Oh, that was nice. I like that move. You know what would be really effective here at this low health and your ability to, to get away from them pretty well? Using your gun! Actually, it is incredibly hard to actually get away from them because of their diving move. Uh, well... You can't- you can't electrocute them with your baby rattle? That, well, is it- is electricity double effective against water- water types, I actually right? don't know, but we're about to attempt, uh... Oh. What I would say is one of the, if not the oh. hardest challenge in this game. It's just piles of fish. Yeah, are those... Fish oh. piles. Writhing no. eels? Not these things. So, uh, uh -oh. you know how I said the fish men, the sharks are hard? What if you gave them a weapon? Oh no. Oh, no. The street sharks. <laughs> they that, have weapons. That must be old Murkai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh man, he's got so many rows of teeth. You know, the tradition of uh, naming and our guests so naming what enemies is hard continues. Enough. Uh, wait, what? Oh boy, are there two oh. boys? Well, there There's was another two one. Of them. Time for the slip and slide! So, uh, this is why I said <laughs> way back when. Oh no. The shaman bow blades would come in handy. Do they? If I could actually hit with them, which is incredibly hard to do. This isn't even a boss proper, huh? No, no. It's just two guys at the bottom of a well. Would you say this is harder than the boss proper? No, that's why I've kind of... Although, I would say, um, the boss is a lot more fair. Also, I actually hit one of them with the shaman. Oh, hey. away, so... Fight, oh my god, fight, they're fighting! Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> <laughs> Are they causing damage to each other? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 dear. <laughs> it has a fairly short uh, time it's actually active. Yeah, now would be a good time to shoot him. <laughs> Who needs guns when you have wheels? Do they die forever? No. Oh my god. That is just the worst. Shoot him. I just threw a thing. Good enough. But, uh, there's a reason why we did this. Oh, Hanzo Steel! Ah, finally. Or... No, it's a spear. Oh, Maria's weapon. Uh -huh. What is it doing down here? Same well, country as read. the Kanehurst Chicago. Two words that Ugh. definitely go together in a cultural <laughs> sense. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, no, uh, in the description it said that Maria cast it into a dark well because she was, dis she was disgusted by the blood magic. Mm. But, um... <laughs> wow, wrecked. Well. Well, indeed. <laughs> I'll accept that. I got the chum joke, you get the well joke. So is this the last part of the DLC? Yes. Oh man, so after this we're gonna know the true ending? Yup. 
Oh boy. Um, Excited. W but will Kevin make it through this area? I don't know. I haven't watched the videos ahead of time. <laughs> Well, this I would be the hope end. he didn't. You know, one of these times I really do want to, and then, like, be like, wow, what kind of idiot would make this mistake? But I don't really think I know <laughs> enough about the game. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. The other way is to watch him purposefully set up a trap and then get hit by it anyway. <laughs> Now, um, this part with the, where we're kind of more in the village itself is kind of the first half, so to speak, of the area. Mm -hmm. While the second half, you kind of get deeper into, um, Beneath. more, uh, kind of Lovecraft. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, in the shadow of Rainsmith, the person, after exploring around, tries to just have a, a room for the night. Um, in, like, a fit of panic, boards up and barricades his door with whatever he can find. Which turns out to have been a really good idea, as that night... Tons of people start trying to pound on his door. Yeah, so, um... Hmm? I was just gonna say that's also uh, kind of a huge part and one of the most memorable parts in uh, the the game based on Shalv was over in Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, so to escape, you he jumps out the window, basically. Uh, I think he makes a, a rope out of the bed sheets situation. I, now, um... Oh! I feel oh, like you're just, uh, describing the beginning to Resident Evil 4. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you got... You just got butchered. <laughs> Little bit! Did you all... Did, was that also a one-shot for you, right? If you uh, I don't think that. I met that enemy. I kind of went through this village... I think I missed a couple places. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, old Ragni. I didn't even know you could get rank C. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I so don't think that's fair. I died way more times <laughs> than nobody here. Now, um, interesting thing to note about this clothing set. Uh, first off, it's the same clothing set our buddy was wearing, the uh, smarmy guy. Secondly, it's also the same set of clothing that the, uh, beggar in the Forbidden Woods was wearing. Ah, so he wasn't Oh, the one who turned out to be the Dark Beast. Mm. Mm. Did you ever show what happens if, uh, you tell the beggar to go to the chapel? No. Okay. Oh. Uh, spoiler alert, he kills everybody. <laughs> oh, well, I, I knew it. This, there's no yeah, way. every time it's bad. Every no time you kill a boss, you you, every time you kill a boss, you just kill someone at randomly. So yeah, oh. the best course of action so for him is either leave him alone or send him to Yosef. So he's actually secret about it. Well, you can also kill him if you're good at it. Not. Also, these dogs. I killed him. Are these fish dogs? <laughs> yes. Fish dogs. So we've had dog crows, now fish dogs. The best of all possible pets. <laughs> Look at that guy. Man, that's wild when the people and the dogs all turn into fish. It's like mm -hmm. some kind of horrible reverse mermaid. Though <laughs> 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 so I think um, this is kind of a case where I think they were all already like fish people before Bergenworth even came by. Hmm. Is that would that be some connection to the old ones? Well uh you'll remember that that um that guy, the kind of mystic seer character in the beginning right. was talking about coasts. 
Also something about a poor wizened child. Uh, Perhaps I've... a child that was given to Koss? Yeah. I assume that was talking about a, a baby that had been turned into a Cthulhu. Anyway, back with Shark Boy over here. <laughs> this was unironically probably when I first played through this DLC, probably the hardest part in it. Wow. Just this one guy? This one guy! A shark with a weapon. A shark with an anchor, yeah. <laughs> the ultimate predator. Higher even than humans, now that he is armed. You thought that we would be safe from sharks by being in a cage. No. They have weapons now. They can use tools. <laughs> this is it. This is, we're done. We're not the apex predators of the planet Earth anymore. Because you know, sharks while, have weapons. After a while, I just stopped trying to fight them and I would just run past. <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought too. Then I got owned by them anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know, after 20 times, eventually you managed to do it. <laughs> I, oh now I'm just God. thinking, if sharks did learn tool use, like they could use tools, there is more water than there is land. Yeah, there was just that study uh, that came out where scientists that study dolphins think that dolphins have more complex of a language uh, than we thought. And so oh. they are trying to figure out if uh, dolphins are sapient, I guess is the right term. Um, and if we need to, like, be a, if we can communicate with them using their language. Interesting. It's super cool. So, uh, there's a thingy down there. That well, is a thing. It's a gross bug. What a gross, what a gross thing down there. Kind of looks like one of those, uh, whales that end up on a beach. Yeah. Ooh. It looks like, uh, one of those so, enemies we um... came across in the main game yeah. where I was like, oh, I can't even. I'm afraid I've made a bunch of things. Speaking of. Oh, I can hear the bell now. The beast hide assassin. He's after me. Again. And again. It never ends. Were you, were you already dead? Is that not where we <laughs> are? Please, I need you to do something. This village is the true secret. Testament to the old sins. It feeds this hunter's nightmare. Please, bring to an end the horror. So our forefathers sin. We hunters cannot bear their weight forever. Fair. It just isn't fair. <sighs> so yeah, his name was uh Simon. Was his last name Belmont? <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. Hmm. Unending death versus the other kind of death that has an end? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, if I played as Bleak Soul through a DLC, that'd probably be what he would be using. The bow blade? Too bad, because Bleak Soul fucked up.